Today's video is going to cover how the gears and the brakes shift on your bike. There are two major gear systems. One is what's called twist grip, which is what we're going to cover right now. The other one is what's called rapid fire, and we'll show you that shortly. The one thing you need to remember when it comes to gears and brakes is something that I call right rear. And what that means is that when you're on the bike riding, your right hand controls the rear brake and the rear gear shifting, right rear. The left side is the front gears and the front brake. Right rear is an important concept because when you put your brakes on, you want to squeeze both brakes together or just the rear. If you squeeze the front brake by itself and hard enough, it could lock the front wheel, in which case the bike's going to lift up and it's going to throw you. So both brakes together or just the rear. Now with gear shifting, you want to pedal and you have to pedal to shift gears. You don't pedal as hard as when you would normally ride. You do what's called a soft pedal. So you kind of go through the motion of pedaling at about maybe half the effort that you normally would. As you're pedaling on this bike, which has twist grip shifting, the inner inch and a half turns. And every time it clicks, you change exactly one gear on the back wheel. The left side, which shifts the front gears, it doesn't work exactly that way. One click is not one gear change. Instead, you want to line up the number with the pointer. And that's when you're in the proper gear. Now, this particular bike is numbered one, two, and three on the left side corresponding to three sprockets up front. On the right side shifter, there are, it's numbered one through seven, corresponding to seven gears on the back wheel. So this bike has 21 gears. It's three times seven, giving 21 gears. So to shift, you have to pedal. And as you pedal, you're gonna twist. And you probably heard that click. Every time that's clicking once, you're shifting one gear in the back. Twist it the other way, and the chain comes back. And then your front gears. Okay, so that one had about four clicks to get you up to the gear, but more importantly, just make sure the number matches up with the pointer. And then you twist again, takes you up to the biggest gear. You twist the other way, and the chain comes back down. So that's the mechanics of how the gears physically change. So you're probably saying to yourself, so when do I want to shift gears? All right, so if you notice, this side is numbered one, two, and three. This side, one through seven. Either side, it doesn't matter. The bigger the number, the harder your bike pedals. And what that translates into is you're traveling further for one crank revolution. If it pedals easier, you're traveling less distance. So when you're climbing a hill, you want it to be easy. So you want to shift your gears into smaller numbers. So you want to be in one over here, and you want to be in the smaller numbers on the right side, like a one, two, or a three. <clears throat> Conversely, if you're moving and you have a tailwind or you're going downhill, you want to put this in three, and you want to put this in like six or seven, which is a what they call a high gear or a hard pedaling gear. So when you pedal, you're going to pedal slow, but your bike is going to move quickly. So you're probably saying, when do I want to shift this, and when do I want to shift that? Think of the left side as a course adjustment and think of the right side as fine tuning. So when you shift the, the left side, the difference between one and two, two and three, the differences are big. When you shift the right side, the differences between each gear are small. So if you're riding and you only need a little bit of a gear change, 
you're getting tired, maybe there's a slight incline, you want to make it a little bit easier, I would shift over here. You go around a turn and you have Mount Everest in front of you, big hill, big mountain, you're going to want to shift the left side into an easier gear. So the one thing that you need to remember, the bigger the number, the harder it pedals. So if you're in three on the left and seven on the right, that is the hardest gear on the whole bike. You travel slow, or you pedal slow and travel far. If it's one on the left, one on the right, that's your uh, easiest pedaling gear for climbing hills. When shifting through the rear gears, as you change the gears, your chain makes a different angle where it's coming into the front shifting here. So like right now, this is pedaling smooth and quiet. And as we shift the back, I'm shifting into easier pedaling gears. So your chain is now coming in on an angle and it's actually rubbing this derailleur right here. And you can hear that rub. So what you want to do is you want to shift your left gears, not enough to change the gear, but just a little bit to move this cage out of the way. One click did it. Now you're pedaling smooth and quiet again. Conversely, when you're shifting the rear and you're going the other direction, now it's rubbing on the other side of the front derailleur. So change the gear, not enough to shift it all the way up into another gear, but enough to move this cage out of the way so it doesn't rub. And you're quiet once again. The other major gear shifting system is what's known as rapid fire, and that's what this bike is equipped with. Rapid fire has two levers, one here and there's one underneath here. Both levers shift the rear gears. On the left side, there are two more levers, this one and one that's under here. Those two levers shift the front. Now you're probably saying, why do I need two levers to shift the same gear? Reason? With your thumb, you're gonna push this lever when you're riding. And when you push that, that's gonna put you into one easier gear. And you can see what gear you're in up here, there's an optical display. And then if you're riding and you need to be in a harder pedaling gear, with your forefinger, you're gonna pull this lever towards you. So that's an upshift, that's a downshift. The front over here is gonna work exactly the same way. So with your thumb, that's one gear up, and with your forefinger, you pull this lever, and that's one gear down. All the other rules of gear shifting still apply. The smaller the number, the easier it pedals. The bigger the number, the harder it pedals. The left side is your course adjustment. Your right side is like fine tuning. Big gear differences on that side, smaller on this side. And outside of that, rapid fire and twist grip work exactly the same. Derailleur type gear systems, which is everything that we've talked about today, have been around for a long time, at least uh, I'd say 80, 90 years. They're perfected to the point that they work very well, they're really high quality, but there is one thing that will screw them up, and that is if your bike falls over and this unit down here, which is your rear derailleur, if this hits the ground, it bends inward. And when you go to shift gears, instead of the chain stopping on the gear, it'll overshoot and the bottom of your derailleur in here will catch a spoke and this unit is gonna get pulled around. It's gonna rip it off the bike, bend your chain, probably bend a couple spokes, possibly ruin your rear wheel. So what you need to do is if your bike falls over and you suspect that the derailleur has hit the ground, bring it into the shop it's a quick two minute check and we can tell you right away if it's bent. Nine times out of 10, we could straighten it while you wait and you could take it home with you. But if it's bent and you keep riding it, you are gonna have a major repair bill.